Alright, so uh, among Jeremiah's collection were s some dead lamps, because he liked to finish them off on instant start ballast, so that's what we're going to do today. And I intended to film this well over a year ago, possibly over a year and a half ago, but uh, this is wired up to, this F425 is nearing the end of its days, wired to a two lamp slimline ballast instant start meant for two eight foot lamps wired for double overdrive a word of warning do not attempt this unless you know what you're doing because it's a pretty dangerous setup I've even been electrocuted on it myself several times and I'm more careful now but still it's not something you ever want to experience especially dealing with the higher voltages that these ballasts put out anyways with that said let's supply power I tried this earlier and this thing is putting up a fight it does not want to go Although we see that one end is glowing. A lot of orange glow. I'm trying to see what I can do to speed this along. Flip polarity on the plug, which is also, again, a dangerous thing to do. Do not try that one at all. I've been zapped doing that too. Trying to, it's like I said, when you first start it up, there's a high voltage jolt to start the lamp on these instant start ballasts. So we're trying to see if that can sort of hasten it along. By the way, if you have light sensitive epilepsy, you might want to stop watching the how. I guess that's something for the disclaimer. And now flip polarity back to the normal position. Cooling off. Blah. Wiggle the plug around. Unbelievable. This thing is, was putting up a fight when I tried to film this earlier. You're gonna do it? Come on. Oh, this looks promising. There it is. That's what we were waiting for. Yep. That's that EOL light show. That's that's and that's also how Jeremiah liked to uh, put ha like to run his uh, burned out lamps into the ground because uh, these instant start ballasts will really run them into the ground even after they've stopped working on most other fixtures, most other types of fluorescent fixtures, including especially the ones that they were made for. But uh, that is that is a instant start slimline ballast burnout. Enjoy and thanks for watching. On second thought, maybe we should have an encore before we send this uh, bucket of toasted bulbs to the recycling center. Here's a slightly larger lamp, an F15 T8. Fly the power. Oh, this one's already ready to go. Yep. 
burning and swirling. Mad swirling action. Yep, and it's out. Let's do another one. Next up, Sylvania F15 T8 Black Ender. This will be the last T8 we roast. It's the last bulb I roast tonight. Undecided, but let's do this. Hmm. That's weird. Now it's dim and it's struggling to start. It was looking like it was going to go out just earlier. Come on. There we go. Mad, mad swirl in action. Other hen's doing it now. Let's see if you can hear that ballast complaining. But enough of that. Let's let's watch the show. Yep, orange flashing. This one's going from both ends. The ballast sounds unhappy. It's buzzing. And more orange flashing. Ooh, this one's putting up quite a fight. Come on. It's okay. Is this thing going to lose vacuum sometime soon? Oh, the flashing's coming from this end. It's putting up quite a fight. I thought this one was going to go down right away. But it's... Nope. That's... Ooh. Yep, and it's out. Now a Phillips made F15 T12, made in Mexico. I thought this one was gonna, I didn't show the plugging in and applying a power, but I think this one's pretty close to on its way out. Let's see if we can get a view in there. On the ends I know there's a slight gap in the phosphor where you can sometimes see the inside. Yep, swirling. She's a swirling. Yeah! Now one of mine, probably one of the highest quality, most durable, long-lasting lamps, which had finally reached EOL at some point. In 2012, I think, and it's been saving, ready for this moment. Let's see if it'll go. Well, the power twist surprisingly still lights on being way overdriven on instant start. Doesn't seem to want to go. 
It was blinking non-stop on preheat. It didn't seem to want to start on a rapid start either. Though I haven't really tried it for very long. Okay. Really, I don't have all day, so... I think I'm only going to do this a couple more times. This thing is putting up quite a fight. But that's Durotest power twists for you. These things were built to last. And you know, honestly I think the rest of these T12s are going to hold up, so... Contrary to what I had said before, we're going to do some more. We're going to try another T8, maybe two. Now we got a Philips F15 T8 made in Japan. Mad orange swirling on this end. <sighs> this one's not gonna... This one's probably not gonna last too long. It's like a firestorm inside of the tube. That is pretty sweet. Now the other end swirling. Hmm. Well, we thought this one was gonna go. power cycle And there she goes. And one more. The last one, a Westinghouse F15 T8. Can you be sure if it's Westinghouse? Hmm, it's strobing. And I'm not wiggling the plug this time. It's swirling on one end. <clears throat> not much longer.
Wow. Whoa. Massive nasty vacuum loss. Blew the phosphorus away and everything. All right, I think that's enough for now. So thanks for watching and enjoy. <laughs>